Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Weather has been very hot, so I want to do something um, that will actually bring out, opens up your uh, appetite. Yeah. So something a bit sour, something sweet, and something savory. So I'm going to make a, a fish soup. Yeah. A fish soup with uh, salted mustard green. All right, ham choy. This is uh, xian cai. All right. Then uh, I have actually one uh, 500 grams of uh, this is deep sea chicken from Sabah. It's called deep sea chicken fish. Yeah. So it is a very nice flavorful dish. Uh, fish. Sorry. So um, to make it uh, a bit sourish, to give it a sourish tinge, uh, I have few things here. Of course, we have the uh, custard. Um, a custard green, a mustard green, sorry, I keep saying wrong things today. Um, salted mustard green, uh, plums, and two tomatoes here. Alright, so I'll be using the flavor of these three. And of course, we need a few slices of uh, ginger, a bit of fresh coriander, and some uh, vegetable to your own likings, some garlic oil, and some hot water. That's all. Okay, we will try to see whether we can make the fish uh, soup milky or not. So, um, First of all, we need to uh, fry the fish, then add in the water. That's all. Okay, so I put a one thin layer of oil here inside my wok and heat it up. And once you see the smoke coming out from the oil, you can actually put in your fish. You don't have to uh, fry your fish until it is fully cooked because later we were actually going to uh, put in the hot water to cook it together with the soup. So what I want here is I'm just going to uh, char both sides of it. Okay, this will definitely help to bring out the milky color of your fish soup later. So, um, but still, I um, one of the tricks to to uh, not to uh, break the fish or make the skin stick to the bottom is definitely do not keep on flipping your fish. So I'm not going to flip it until about uh, one two minutes later. All right, so we will come back shortly. Okay, this is after about two minutes. I'm going to flip the fish over. Nicely char. So now I want to charge the other side. Meanwhile, I'm going to add a little bit of oil here. And I'm going to put in the ginger. Okay, so we are going to pan fry the fish and uh, saute our ginger at the same time. Give it a minute or two and we will come back shortly. After about one minute plus, my ginger has started to curl up. And I think the other side is almost charred, nicely charred. This is the time where we can actually edit our hot water directly. Don't turn down the heat, yeah? Use high heat all the way. And we are going to bring it to a boil right now. Very soon you're going to see uh, the fish soup color coming up. As you can see from here, the soup is now boiling. We can proceed to put in our um, salted mustard green. Some leftover ginger just now. And also my tomato. I'm using two tomato here. You can use one. Totally up to you. Well, this will give you some very naturally sourish flavor. So this can be a very uh, nice um, one pot dish, yeah, for the family. And not forgetting my uh, plum, salted plum. Okay, continue to let this uh, cook boil under high heat for at least another uh, 10 minutes or so. Okay, to really bring out the flavor of the fish. And then uh, I'm going to add in some veggie and that's it. Yeah, very, very simple. Appa must admit, um, deep sea chicken, you, most people will actually use it for steam only because it's actually quite an expensive fish. One kg, I got it for about uh, per kg 83 ringgit, but this is frozen, alright, it's not even fresh. 
it's not the fresh ones, all right. So, um, but uh, I, I've done a lot enough uh, steam uh, fish recently, so I'm just going to use it to uh, make a fish soup. All right, it's actually a luxury if you ask me. So uh, this is after uh, boiling for about five minutes. As you can see from here, the creamy color has started to come out. Okay, and now I don't mind adding my veggie. Now let me do seasoning first. Give it a bit of salt. Followed by some sugar. Sugar will always enhance the penetration power, penetration level of the uh, saltiness from the salt itself. Okay, and what else do I have? I'm going to add a bit of fish sauce. Recently, I can't find my fish sauce always. Uh, come. A bit of fish sauce, not too much. Fish sauce can be extremely salty, yeah, be careful. Get a little bit of light soy sauce. It is very appetizing now. I can smell the sourish. And my tomato has softened. Okay, now let's put in the veggie. So, if you ask me, this is actually a very balanced uh, one pot dish. You have uh, fish meat, okay, you have some veggie, you have a soup, and it is very appetizing. Very, uh, very good for uh, people who, for working uh, couples. Yeah. Just let it cook. Continue boiling for another couple or uh, two, three minutes. Then it is done. All right. So once the veggie have softened, it is done. I'm going to just put a bit of uh, fresh coriander on top. and few dash of white pepper. Okay, I'm going to show you how I will serve this. Okay, I'm going to uh, take out, remove the veggie and put it on the bottom of the plate. Then put the fish on top and the uh, tomato on the sides. Okay, I have taken out the fish and the veggie. And I'm going to pour a nice flavorful soup over it. Right? The rest of the soup, I will actually uh, put it into another bowl for each person to drink. Alright, so uh, now let me some, do some final garnishing. Put some fresh coriander on top. I'm a fresh coriander person, so I put quite a lot. And I have some garlic oil with me. So I'm going to put on some uh, fried garlic on top. And end it with a few dashes of white pepper. There you go. Done. Okay, so I hope you like my video. If you like my video, uh, this is my uh, fish soup. If you like my video, oh, let me adjust the angle a little bit. Oh, here's a much better angle. All right, so <coughs> uh, here's my um, fish soup with uh, tomato and uh, salted mustard green. If you like my video, do share my video on your video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button. Follow Up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the notification button. Up is uploading minimum three to four uh, videos, cooking videos, cooking ideas every week now. So stay tuned for all Up uh, new videos coming up. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय